Before we begin looking at the highly anticipated online registration platform, I think it is important to point out where to go if you want more information about registering. The Yukon College website. From the main page, select Admissions, then Registration. Here you'll find the registration checklist, which is everything you need to know to prepare for registration. The online registration guide, which will walk you through the process of registering for classes online. You also have access to program planning guides for your program page, as well as the Money Matters page for any questions you have about tuition and fees. Follow the link in the video description below to navigate to the online registration webpage. First things first, we will look at my registration status. This indicates whether or not you're eligible to register for classes. In order to do this, you must sign in using your Yukon College email and password. The term we'll be looking at is Academic Fall 2020. If you haven't been accepted into a program, are on academic probation, or have any financial holds on your account, that information will be displayed here. Once you've confirmed that everything is A-OK, -okay, good to go, Joe, return to the main page by clicking Registration, located in the top left panel. If you're unsure of which classes to enroll in, click Browse Classes. It's worth noting that you do not need to be logged in to use this feature. Select which term you'll be looking at, which is in this case Academic Fall 2020. Here you can search by things like subject, campus, meeting days, the level of the course. This provides you with a lot of control in terms of actually developing your timetable. However, you do not need to fill in every search field. Any single one alone will work. For instance, I could search for all of the biology classes that the university has to offer. It is very important that you realize that you cannot actually register for classes from this page. This page is simply there as a means for you to browse classes, see which class you might want to take, and maybe inform your decisions when it actually comes time to register for classes. Once you're familiar with the course offerings at the university, return to the main page by selecting the registration button located in the top left corner again. To actually register for classes, click register for classes, which may be fairly obvious. Again, we'll select academic fall 2020 and continue. And you'll be greeted with a search screen that looks very similar to the one from Browse for Classes. This is where your program planning guides will come in handy. They will tell you which courses you need to complete in order to graduate. You can use either of these search fields, or you can expand your search by selecting the advanced search function, which allows you to broaden the results you'll receive. I will demonstrate using the subject and course number field, and then select search. Your screen will be populated with all the results for those classes. And if you want to add any of these courses to your timetable, you select the add button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we go on to adding classes, we should learn a little bit more about them. To do that, click on the course name. This will bring up a whole whack of information. We are going to look specifically at the co-requisites and prerequisites. Co-requisites are courses you must take at the same time, for instance, labs or field placements. Prerequisites are requirements you must meet before you take a course. Looks like this one doesn't have any. That's great for us. <laughs> I'm going to work through adding courses to my timetable for a quick second until I'm confident I have all the courses I need. And then when you're ready to actually register for the classes, click Submit. And to view your timetable, you can toggle these panels using these arrows here.
There you go. After viewing your schedule and summary, ensuring you have everything you need and that you are registered for all the courses you need, I would encourage you to view the tuition and fees section, which will unsurprisingly show you the amount of money that you're owing for the semester. It's now time to review what we've done one final time. So we'll head back to the main page by clicking registration on the top left hand corner and then select view registration information. We will select the term we've registered for, which is academic fall 2020. And we can have a final look at the summary of our classes as well as our timetable. Again, if you want to change the way the panels look, you can toggle it using these icons. If you wish to print off your schedule, click on this printer icon and you may print from there. Congratulations, you've successfully registered for classes at UConn University. Your road to success has only just begun.